All right, so what's up, everyone? And welcome back to the channel. Now, today we got a preview for season six of Modern Warfare 2, which a lot of people thought wasn't going to be happening because of what happened with Vanguard. But we are getting to season six of Modern Warfare 2, and it is just completely batshit crazy. Like, but anyway, this season's actually shaping up to be pretty decent. I mean, to be honest, most of the seasons for Modern Warfare 2 have been pretty good. The only problem is the game itself is not very popular and people don't like it. I mean, I don't get why they don't see that, but then I guess that's why they're making Modern Warfare 3. Now, I've read through the blog post and I know generally what's coming to the game, like the most important pieces. So I'm just going to tell you guys the most important things of what are coming this season. Obviously, I'm not going to go through every single thing because it's not that important, at least to me. Now, obviously, the main thing with season six is that it's coming out around about Halloween time. So it has a lot of the Halloween skins, a lot of like, you know, Evil Dead references and I think Doom. They've got like, a lot of that kind of stuff. There's also a spawn skin coming to the game. I'm, I'm not familiar with spawn. I don't know what it is, but I, I assume it's some kind of Halloween thing. Oh my god, this thing is so much fun to use. <laughs> so there's a lot of like thematic changes for Halloween. There's um, a couple new game modes, both for Warzone and Modern Warfare. Obviously, there's all the licensed skins and stuff as well, and bundles that come in, which, you know, I mean, if you like that kind of thing, I guess it's interesting, especially if you like some of the franchises, like, say, Evil Dead, Doom. And then there's Diablo as well. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, sure, but I have no intention to spend any money on this game, maybe apart from the Battle Pass, but... Even then, I haven't completed the battle pass since, like, season one, so I, I don't even care about that anymore. What the fuck are you doing, you dickhead? Get out of the fucking container. But what I think are the most important parts of this season, so we've got three new guns coming. I think there's an assault rifle, which is a bullpup. It's called, like, the, the TR something Geist, which uh, it doesn't look like anything I recognize. It looks like a knockoff Tempest Razorback, to be honest. There's also another ISO SMG coming to the game. I don't know if it's um, a chamber to different rounds or something, because I don't really know about this one, but there's another ISO SMG, and the final one isn't a gun, actually. I've just remembered. It's a melee weapon, so fun times. Possibly one of the most interesting parts about a Call of Duty update is not very interesting. We've got a melee weapon, assault rifle, and SMG. Classic. Now, the other interesting part of the season is the maps. So, we've got two brand new maps coming to the game. There's a, a villa one, like called, I think it's called like La Casa or something. I mean, they don't say if it's a small map, a medium map, a big map. So, it's either telling me that it's a big map and they don't want to say it because they know people hate that shit. Or they're just not describing it for some reason. I don't know why they wouldn't call it a small map if it is, because that would get people excited. There's also a second 6v6 map coming to the game, and it's called Coro Village, which is apparently a remake of a Call of Duty 2 map that came out in 2005, and the map is called Tujan, Tujane. T O U J A N E Tujan. I, I don't fuck. I mean, of all the maps they can remake, I mean, yeah, Malware 2 maps probably not the best idea because they're bringing out a game with all those, those maps. But I don't get why they do a COD 2 map. I mean, not only are we talking about a map that came out almost 20 years ago, so the entire like economy of COD is just completely different. Like. You can't just bring in a map that's 20 years old and expect it to do well. Like, I mean, look at Tarak for fuck's sake. That's like a, a COD 1 or a COD 3 remake, and that thing is just shocking. So I'm already not interested in this map because I just think it's going to be a piece of shit. But even if it is a map that would work in this current climate, why the fuck are you bringing one from COD 2? Bring bring a Morphe 3 map into the game. Bring a, a ghost map, like a, a map that people would at least recognize. Like, I just don't get it. Like, I mean, yeah, you could say like, oh, you yeah, know, people don't know this map, so it's not really a remake, only like half hardcore veteran fans would know the map so i suppose for a lot of people especially someone like myself it is considered a new map but i just don't get it if you're going to be lazy and bring back a map that you've already done why not do a good one why not do a guaranteed banger how have i out melee you when you've got a knife i've got a two hit fucking dildo and you've been fucking beat up it just confuses me but there's also two gunfight maps um one of them is called fight which is actually like a shoot house like reimagining thing for gunfight it's not actually shoot house it just looks like very similar it, it, it seems like it would be like outside of shoot house it, it's like it has the exact same stylistic choices but it's not shoot house if that makes any sort of sense and the final one is king from marvel 2019 which i was really gassed to see I can't lie. Like, I saw the um, 
I saw the picture for the ISO 45, I think it's called, on their Twitter, and I saw it was King. I was like, they're bringing that map. No fucking way. I mean, it's not like I play Gunfire that much. I mean, hell, I don't even play this game that much, to be honest. But that map is <laughs> actually already nostalgic. But it's been almost, I think it's been four years since the alpha of Gunfight, and that was the first time we saw King. I think it actually has been over four years now, so it's not even that wrong to say it's nostalgic. But it looks pretty much exactly the same, apart from it's, like, more overgrown. It, it doesn't have the sort of, like, orangey hue it had before. It has more, like, a green one because it is more, like, overgrown. Like I said, like, it's, it looks like it's been abandoned, which I think it's a really cool idea that if you're going to remake a map, bring it back in the exact same style, but also make it look run down and old. I think that, that shit is so cool. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Can I just not get in the lobby with someone who's just blasting the fucking TV down the mic? Like, Jesus Christ. There's also two map reskins. So the first one is um, El Asilo. They've done like a Dia Los Muertos um, sort of reskin on it, which I think looks really cool. And the second one is an Embassy reskin where it's, it's basically a Zombies map, but Embassy. I think that one looks fucking cool as well. Like, not like brand new content or anything. Like, it's just a reskin. But I think they did a really good job, like, aesthetics-wise of bringing the Halloween vibe. It looks really cool, in my opinion. They're also bringing back the trophy hunt mode from uh, season three where like if you kill someone they'll drop like an uh, exclusive like it's basically kill confirmed but it's not just in the match and every person only has one if you guys remember they're basically bringing that back but reskinning it as a uh, halloween special so it's like collecting souls instead of trophies i mean it's quite a cool mode. It's quite a cool idea, to be honest. It's like a, a healthy grind. I think the only reason I didn't actually complete that grind and get the calling card is because I wasn't really playing the game of that. I was playing ranked, to be fair, but you can't really get many in ranked. Like, the games are quite long. Like, I, I, I just wasn't playing as much, I suppose. I mean, it's a fun mode, I guess. Once again, like I said, it, it is a grindy mode, and I'm glad they're bringing it back, but... Maybe it's just too late for a grind like that because I'm starting to lose my interest in this game. I say I'm starting. I lost it a long time ago. I said I was going to go for the uh, weapon mastery in this game, especially because it carried forward to Malfair 3, but... I just don't, I don't, I don't like this game as much as I used to. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, don't get me wrong. I think this game is heavily overheated. Like, I think people hate on this way too much. But like, it's definitely not as bad as everyone says, but I just don't really think they've brought it to its potential that it could be. And I know that's the problem that a lot of people have. And it's definitely one that I have as well, but I just don't have as big of an issue with it, I suppose. I mean, I can still have fun playing this game. And I mean, when I'm playing a game, that's all that matters. Like, I'm not going to be sat there having a great time with my friends and be like, hold on, guys, wait, we need to stop having fun here. Why? can't I sly cancel? Like, at the end of the day, if I can get on a game, especially with friends, and have a laugh, and then get off having enjoyed this, my time, at least a little bit, I consider that a good game, or a successful game, I guess. Complete all melee kill challenges. Wait, does that mean... Does that mean I've got it gold then, or what? I don't know if I've got it, so I'm just gonna leave. Fuck it. <laughs> oh. I... Wow. I'm really far away from it, actually. Alright, well, I fucked up. What am I looking at here? Are you f oh my god. What is it with Infinity War in this game and fucking animals as operators? I don't get it. Like, see, this is something that's fucking cool. Like, the classic pack, which is, like, an original COD 4 pack, and they have blueprints. I know it's not the flashiest thing, but that's that's quite a cool thing. And it looks really low res as well, because it's from COD 4. That's fucking cool. Bring more stuff like that. And Tomb Raider as well. That That's a cool crossover. Instead of a fucking monkey as a, a, a guard. And this shit as well. It's 21 Savage and Nicky motherfucker. Okay. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I mean, all in all, Season 6 is coming in the next, like, few days or so. I'm not going to be here to cover it, actually. I'm probably going to mention this in a later video, but... Uh, I'm actually going to be away when Season 6 comes out, so when I come back, I'll probably do some kind of video talking about it. But yeah, this looks like one of the most off-the-rails, wacky seasons I've ever seen. Maybe apart from the final season of Vanguard, Last Stand. That is probably the single worst season of Call of Duty, just because it's fucking stupid. Like, I mean, I I'm not saying that I want my COD games to be 100% serious and lore accurate and to the times and everything, but it's Vanguard World War II game with a guy from the future using a gun from the further, further future. Like, uh. Anyway, let's forget about Vanguard. Thanks for watching this video.